Oh, well, right now it is time for us to check the weather. It is time to check Mr. Maine, Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. And good morning to you, Marshall, and everybody. Uh, it is raining this morning. This whole area just blossomed uh, during the early morning hours. I'm picking up some moderate rain right now. If you are listening to us, New Forge, uh, Milan, Red Hook, uh, these places, moderate rain. Uh, the back edge of it, I've never heard of this place before. Maybe you have. The Vly. Well, first of all, it's Milan, Milan, New York, not Milan. Milan. Okay. okay. What's what's spell the name of the town you're talking about? V L Y. V O Y. V L Y. The Vly. I have no idea what that is. It's uh, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correct. It's just south of Pacama, P A C A M A. I uh, you know those those are those new weird names in New York. They are in New York, yeah. Um, <laughs> but that's that's the back edge of it, and it's moving very, very quickly. So I would say it's 6.51 now. I would say definitely by 8 o'clock this will be east of us, and we will resume with our heat wave. Hazy, hot, oppressively humid, mid-90s. Yesterday, Bradley hit... 99 degrees, they missed the record by one. Today, the record is 100. They could get close or tie that. Partly cloudy tonight, 70. Sunny, not as hot or humid, upper 80s Tuesday. Some sun and humid with the chance of thunderstorms Wednesday. We're in the 80s, low to mid 80s. And then on Thursday, hazy, humid showers, thunderstorms, 85 to 90. And then finally, a break, uh, probably mid 80s, Less humid, partly sunny on Friday. All right, so a break on Friday. Right. There'll be a break tomorrow, too. Yeah. Um, but not as significant as it will be on Friday. So uh, so now I, you, you knew that I was having problems with one of my computers on Friday, right? Yes. So uh, I, I got a new computer. Okay, well, that's right. good. I put it in. I, I, now, Saturday, normally I come in at like 7 o'clock in the morning and I leave by noontime. I do a lot of paperwork and I get things set up for the week. For the week. And then on Sunday when I come in, I, I, I do a lot, of, a lot of work ahead for the week, scheduling. So Saturday, I unpack this computer and I hook it up. It comes with two monitors, Pat, not one but two. I can't get either of the new monitors to work. They want, they want to be super high-res monitors and... It's not working. So I put them aside and I put in my old monitor for the old computer and it works fine. Mm. Every program I install on it's fine. So it's now about, eh, been here about two hours. So it's like 9, 9.30. So I try to install uh, CoolEdit Pro. Uh-oh. It installs, but it doesn't, it, w it will not read any, any uh, input or output. I try, I try, I try a million different things. I try, I try. It's now 11 o'clock. I still can't get it to work. So I uninstall it and I reinstall it and I still can't get it to work. There's no reason why it can't work, but it's not working. So then I look at the, the, I look at the uh, computer and I, I want to see what, what version of Windows 10 is there. And it's the newest version of Windows 10, but it's Windows 10 Pro. Or Oh, pro. And it will not, it will not run the old version of Cool Edit Pro. Oh, no. So now I have to find, I have to find uh, a version of, which is now called, uh, it's called Adobe something nowadays. So I've got to find it, Adobe Edition, that's what it's called. So I find Adobe Edition and I download a free trial and I, Instantly, I put it in, it works, okay? So it's obvious the old one I can't use on this computer. Now, instead of buying it, like the old one, like 20-some years ago, before right. Adobe purchased it, I got for like 159 bucks. This is $22 a month. You don't buy it. You subscribe to it. You subscribe to it, like, uh, like Microsoft Office. $22 a month. A month. That's $300 a year, roughly. But they got you in a corner. There's nothing I can do. Is and so I've used you and Mike Kazi this morning 
to set the levels. Like the first portion of our conversation, Mike's conversation was very, very loud. Uh, but this conversation, the first, the first uh, minute and a half to two minutes is loud. Now I've got the levels set on this so it works. But now this is a brand new program, right, Pat? Yeah. So they have a, a, a light, a dark gray, a medium gray background with gray lettering. Do you think I can read it no matter what size it is? That's going to be tough. How stupid is that? A medium gray background. Back, background with a light ground, with, uh, with, with a light gray uh, text. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, that's terrible. You you don't have the option to change that to white or yellow? I, I, I've been looking for it. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> I haven't found it yet. And now, um, and now yeah, because... Let me, I, I mean, this may be a stupid question, but let me just ask you. Would it have been better... For you to get rid of Windows 10 Professional and just go to Windows 10? Uh, at this point, I'd have to buy Windows 10, which would be, I, I, I can, you know, I, I, which would be another couple hundred bucks. Right, but that, but that would be non recurring. Yeah, but so still, you would have saved money in no, the long run. No, because I'm not convinced it would have worked on this computer. Um, I'm not convinced it would have worked on this computer because I've got other computers that I've got upgraded to Windows 10, but they're the older computers. Who, but on this new computer, I just don't think the old program works. I've been waiting for this to happen for 10 years. <laughs> Every time okay. I've installed a new computer, I've held my breath. Is this a um, famous brand computer or um, uh, more of um, no? It's you a, know, it's a famous brand computer. It's a famous brand computer. Mm. <laughs> it's a famous okay. brand computer. But what the heck? And then, every once in a while now, we get a little scratchy sound in the background because we're at the height of the, of the summer season, and some foliage is affecting our STL shot, uh, to the uh, from, the station to the tower. So every once in a while, if a branch moves on this tree in the wrong way, you get a little in the background. But there's no fixture for that. There's no fixture for that. Well, if it makes you feel any better, <laughs> my copier is down again. No, no. Yeah, get it, get it, get it out of there. I haven't get the new one. It's the same problem, you know. The uh, the GM sent me a thing, a link uh, on Friday, and told me what to do, and I did it, and it looked like it cleared it up. Half hour later, yeah, uh, the yellow light went on. Same error. So I did it again without calling him. Cleared it up. Half hour later, the same error. So then I just emailed them back, and they said, you know, Tom. Something is wrong with this machine. I said, it doesn't hold out for more than a half hour. And it keeps showing me an error. So something is definitely wrong with it. I did not hear any response on Friday. I sent them another response, uh, another email today. Uh, so uh, shake hands, Marshall. You and I, just <laughs> one problem after another. Oh, well, what the heck. So anyway, so that backed up my Saturday. So then on mm. Sunday... I did all my Saturday work, which meant on Sunday afternoon at my house, yeah, enjoy, yeah, enjoy. I did all my Sunday work. So it was it was just so my weekend of relaxation and normal hours was totally thrown to the wind. Thrown to the wind, I say, Pat. Well, uh, I didn't go to the lake. I told you I didn't think I was going. I was going to go maybe for the day, but it was too darn hot. Yeah. Uh, so I stayed home. Uh, I was still very lethargic on Saturday. And then yesterday I worked uh, in the weather center, and I also um, I worked on our project, our movie project for the lake. So I did some work on that. But uh, and today's not is definitely not going to be no uh, no bag full of cherries. I mean, it's still a real rough day today between temps and humidity. Yeah, well, we'll get over it. It's summer. This is it. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, I, I don't mind. I don't mind the hot weather. I don't mind the hot weather. I like it. I don't mind the humidity. I like it. I don't like when problems hang up. That's all. When problems come up out of nowhere. All right, Pat. I guess we've about hashed it out this morning. Well, good luck, Marshall. And good luck to you with your copier. Thank you. <laughs> I'll speak to you tomorrow. All righty, bye-bye. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.